when I think about just celebrating because I don't know, it's a particular day or something like that. And I'm going to be honest here. And actually, and I've never had a drinking problem or anything like that. So I kind of find it odd that I, I, I get this, but, uh, it's almost like I associate it with drinking without a reason. Okay. Cause that's one thing I'd always heard, you know, throughout my entire life from people that, you know, it's one thing if you, because I don't drink. And so a lot of people, oh, it's fine. It's fine. You know, and it's not that I'm worried about going and having a beer and, and not being able to control myself afterwards. I don't have that issue. While I have a very, very addictive personality, I have never been a fan of alcohol. And uh, I just don't like the way it makes me feel. I don't like, I, mean, I don't like it. Um, and, but I had always heard, you know, that it's only a problem when you start drinking by yourself. You know, when you just start drinking to actually drink, not because you're being social or not because you're celebrating something or not, you know. And so... For whatever reason, I abstain from a lot of traditional celebrations if the meaning is no longer there. And, um, you know, I've gone in depth about why I don't celebrate Fourth of July, right? The meaning is no longer there. Um, Thanksgiving is much for me, I'm not saying for anybody else, but for me, it's much the same thing. Uh, I don't have family. I don't have family. Um, I've got a supposed brother that lives three blocks down the street. We've lived, I think, in this location for, I think, over three years now, haven't we? I think. Um, and, uh, and so, Jen says 2019 since, yeah, I guess since here, right? Yeah. Holy hell. Wow. Um, so yeah, I've been here this long, and then we were at the other location since what, 2016 or 15, 16? Um, you know, which is just a little ways across town here. Um, but you know, uh, and we have never seen eye to eye. Um, for one, and I say this over and over and over, and I mean it. I do not like liars. I. Man, if I catch if I catch a lion, even if I don't say nothing, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. I will never. One thing I promise you is, if you lie to me, I will never forget. You may never know that I know you lied to me. I may never indicate it. I may never say anything. I may never show it. Why? Well, that's an awful quick way of of destroying any chance of you garnering any more information <laughs> that could be helpful um like my dad said you give people enough rope and you let them hang themselves it's what you do so i've got one brother i talk to my oldest brother and uh i do i think a lot of them um always have and always will he is the only one out of my family that uh, we're different. <laughs> we're different. We're not like any of the others in our immediate family. Um, most of my immediate family are defeatists. Um, they're liars. They're users. They're... I don't know what to say. Um, I am by far the black sheep of the family, by a long shot. But it's one of those instances where the black sheep in the family was the one that was actually being the straightest. In, in, in a sense, in a sense, not in all senses. Believe me, not in all senses. But I guarantee you, you were more likely to get the truth from me than you were them. That's a fact. Um, my last two interactions 
with uh, not my oldest brother. Like I said, I still speak with my oldest brother. Don't have any problems with him. Um, last time I spoke to my second oldest brother, the next one up from me. Um, well, the last time was him on his high horse explaining why I shouldn't be around as long story. Why should and I'm I'm not legally able to own firearms. I don't hide it. I don't it is what it is, right? When I was nineteen, I'm fifty one years old. When I was nineteen, I was a much more bigger dumbass than what I am today and uh and got in some trouble. And so because of some shit that I did and that I was involved with when I was nineteen years old still affects that today now i'm not nearly and have not nearly been that same person for a long damn time and um <clears throat> i didn't own any firearms my and and it's what it is my wife at the time owned those firearms right but my brother was on his high horse about how i shouldn't and and you know i hate to tell him but I can guarantee you, I've been around a hell of a lot. I've been around 10 times the damn firearms he's ever even seen in his life. Without incident. Like, without incident. Not even the slightest little bitty nothing. I am the last person that you need to worry about going off the deep end. And doing something just utterly stupid um i'm and many people will that actually know me will describe me as one of the most laid-back calm people that they've ever known look yeah i there are things that will excite me absolutely did you see earlier's video <laughs> there are things that will excite me but that believe it or not it's pretty drastic reaction for me because i'm normally calm right um <clears throat> it's just i don't see the use i don't see the use in all of the damage that it does to get worked up over everything it makes no sense um but for some reason he believes that he should be allowed any and all and no one else should be allowed any that one of those types of folks so that was the last time i seen him i do want to bring up the time before that that i seen him howdy steve i i, I do see you in here brother i didn't uh, i'm not ignoring you uh <laughs> hang on and i'll open the floor up a little bit but uh give me just a moment um i um the time before that and i think it's important to say this i want to say this the time before that that i saw my brother david was when my dad died when our dad died now my dad wasn't a favorite by any means why well you see my attitude <laughs> pretty much that's why if you think i'm rough cut my dad would consider me soft I try to be kind, and I, and I think that's the reason for any softness that I have is because I, I I do try to be kind. And then, unfortunately, <laughs> a lot of times that kindness gets mistaken. You know the drill. And then things don't work out real well because I'm not much of a good pushover. And I damn sure don't make a good victim. And I damn sure don't make a good victimizer. Because when you pull that fake victim shit on me, I'll shove it so far up your ass, you can't see straight. I was married to that bullshit for nine years. 
Anyway. I, uh, my, my, our, our dad had passed away. And we were having this discussion, family discussion. Uh, we were all there with the exception of my oldest brother who didn't care to attend. And that was perfectly up to him. Um, but I remembered something from my oldest sister. Yes, I've got two two sisters as well, both older. And I remember a comment that she had made years. Again, I don't forget stuff. I just don't. And she had made, that's pretty cool. There's actually a plane flying in the air. And I'm in a city. I know you can't see it, but. Um, but I remembered my sister saying, that what she wanted to do when my when when our dad died was that she wanted to have him cremated so she could piss all over his ashes that's word for word what she said and i didn't forget it and it wasn't that me and my dad had a love love relationship as a matter of fact when my dad did die we weren't spe we weren't on speaking terms that was kind of an on and off thing and i damn straight wasn't just going to sit by and idly let that happen because during the family discussion she took it upon herself to take complete charge and control over everything. Now, mind you, everything was already being dealt with. Everything had already been more or less taken care of. Everything had already kind of been put in place, motions put in motion, or things put in motion, right? Because it wasn't an unex... I mean, he was a sick man. I mean, he was dying of cancer. He had pa pa pancreatic cancer, and it spread throughout his body, and they knew. It wasn't... Uh, they didn't know kind of thing. And my thoughts with that is, why not just let that happen? Right? I mean, my dad had a, a girlfriend at the time, Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> My dad's girlfriend at the time um, wound up happening to be, well, my dad was with her first. <laughs> but uh, I met her daughter, and that's who became my wife. So, um my dad's girlfriend, when he passed away, was my now ex-wife's mom. And, um, uh, as far as I know, she had everything taken care of. Now, believe me, I don't have any good feelings for her either. She's even worse than my, she's way worse than what my family ever was. But, I damn well wasn't going to sit back and let my sister pull that kind of nonsense. Now, there is one thing that I firmly believe, and that is that when we die, we should be paid the respects that we ask for. I'm within reason, obviously. But I think that's one sacred part of life, is that when you pass, that your wishes be honored again within reason i mean and that started quite a bit of a problem when i stood up on my dad's behalf um i was the only one that spoke up and said a thing though the only one i've got a younger brother my older brother David, older brother David, he didn't say Jack. 
Now, Sister Sherry wasn't there. Um, I don't think she was there. Shit, I don't remember now. Because I know we went and picked her up. I don't know. 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 Maybe she wasn't at the meeting, but maybe we went and got her for when, because I did speak to dad before he died. Um, we all did it with the exception of my oldest brother. Um, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Um, the amount of closure that that allowed me to have was more than I could have ever expected from it. And his words. made all the puzzle pieces fit from an, uh, a pretty rough life. There were a lot of ways our lives weren't rough. We really never had to worry too much about starving or anything like that or having a roof over our heads or the power on or, you know. Um, we didn't have those struggles, thankfully, but we had plenty of others, plenty of others. The reason for me explaining that, oh, the one other thing involving my dad's death, and I'll, I'll say that real quick, that I thought was awful BS. So, my dad's will, he had picked out certain things that he wanted to go to certain of his children. And you guys know how stuff like that works out. Now, my dad didn't have anything, okay? So there was no value there for kids to fight over or nothing like that. But my sister, Sherry, and I'm just going to be right out with it, is a pretty useless meth head, last I knew. Um, she had nothing but lies and trouble. And I, I hung out with her plenty. <laughs> I hung out with her plenty. I used to be a piece of work myself. And, uh, thankfully I grew away from that kind of a life and grew away from her and But uh, I think that she had, because she lived right near, I think she had my ex-wife's mother, my dad's girlfriend when he passed, ear, if you know what I mean. And I think everything that my dad had worked out as to who to who to who, right? I'm pretty sure she was latching on all of it. Like, my dad had a guitar. Who wound up with the guitar? My my sister. <laughs> my sister. Um, who was supposed to wind up with the guitar? I'm not 100% positive on this. It would have been one of two of us. It damn sure wasn't my sister Sherry. <laughs> it was either me or it was my older bro or oldest brother Clyde. One of us two. Um, because we are the two that play guitar made sense and i'm pretty sure i played it quite a bit more than my older brother oldest brother clyde so i don't know and it's not I, you know i'm not concerned about that i'm just explaining what went on i got by the way a broken watch is is, is what i got given was a, a broken watch that's what i got pretty sure that's probably not what i was supposed to get now My brother David, the next one up for me, a piece of work three blocks away, he was supposed to get my dad's, my dad had a 22 pistol. 
And it uh, wasn't, again, nothing, anything special, not something that's worth a lot. It's a shame that it wasn't the one that I remember when I was a kid. The one that I always knew he had was a uh, Saturday, what they called a Saturday night special. A little 22, I think it, was, it, it, it functioned. <laughs> it functioned. And to be honest, uh, the, the sights were pretty damn accurate on that thing. Uh, I have to say that. The sights are pretty damn accurate on that thing. I don't know whatever happened to that. I have no clue what happened with that. Um, never asked Dad, and I don't believe he ever told me what happened to it Saturday night special. But he wound up with another little twenty two revolver, and uh, and he wanted that to go to my brother David. Um, well, my sister was trying to latch on to that too. Now, my sister can't legally own a firearm. And my ex-wife's mom was a little... Well, she didn't kind of really know what to do. For one, because she didn't... This is Illinois. She didn't have a FOID card. So technically, she was illegally in possession of a firearm. Technically. In which I think that did truly concern her. Um... And I'm pretty sure she knew that my sister wasn't supposed to have one. So she didn't let loose of it, right? So I had my wife at the time, since it was her mother. I had her kind of play on that a little bit of the you don't have a Freud card thing. My wife at the time did. So I had my wife, because if, if I was straight up front, it would have never happened. <laughs> it would have, trust me, I know these people, trust me. So, my wife at the time played on her fear a little bit about not having the Floyd card thing, and offered to come and hold it for her, because she could legally have it. Well, from the go, from go, the intention from me was to get the firearm and give it to the rightful person that it was supposed to go to, because that's doing what's right. And that's exactly what happened. My wife at the time went to her mom, picked up the firearm, brought it back, in which we contacted my brother. He came and picked it up. You know, that's that's the kind of integrity that I have. Okay? That's the kind of integrity that I have. The kind of integrity that he has is to this day he is yet to claim a son. To this day. Lived here three years. Mind you, I never did a damn thing bad to him. Except not put up with his bullshit or accept his lies or bow down and kiss his ass that he's some kind of king because he's... Uh, I'll leave that be. So that's really why I don't really get involved with thanks. I, for one, who am I going to celebrate it with? I don't have my <clears throat> any of my three children in my life. Not by choice. I wished all three of them were in my life. I'd do anything for all three of them to be in my life. Except denounce God. That's the only thing I wouldn't do. But anything aside from slapping the father, damn well. I love my kids. But that's why I don't... That's why I don't feel like celebrating Thanksgiving. Because... Why? <laughs> it's like it just bullshitting myself again it would be like in my eyes celebrating the 4th of July when we're not really free anymore
that makes sense. But if anybody wonders why I'm rough around the edges, why I don't take shit from people here on YouTube, these YouTubers, to me that is the if, if you if you consider or call yourself a YouTuber, right there is right there is all you need to say. Uh, that's it. That's for me. That I don't need to know anything more about you. If you're a YouTuber, I don't need to know a damn thing else. Because if, if you were going to worship a social media website on that level, <laughs> more power to you. But uh, I wouldn't be talking like you're above people. Just, 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 just saying. There are folks out, out there that are real. Really real. And they don't have to have their little. As well as there are folks out there that's been doing this shit for 30 years now. So when I talk about Johnny Come Lately's, I mean it. I mean it. It was 30 years ago that I got online. 30 years ago. I uh, bought a web TV. I never look back. And it's been one hell of a ride. One hell of a ride. Not always a good one. Not always a bad one. <laughs> it's always been one of learning. Always from, from the start. That was... That was one of the two things I wanted to get online to do, was learn. And then when I say that, I, I, I mean that's what I wanted to do. I would have done anything to have been able to have, you know, pre-internet days, to be able to have really huge, awesome libraries at my disposal. But I didn't. So 